let's talk about LiveWire Volt. LiveWire Volt is everything LiveWire, but in a single file, AKA single file components for LiveWire. So instead of having your server logic and your view file separated, having a PHP class and then your blade template that are separate in separate files, everything is in one file. And while it's still LiveWire through and through, there are some key differences that make Volt unique. So let's jump into the short crash course on Volt with three things that you need to know to start shipping things today. The first thing you need to know is that there are two ways to write LiveWire Volt components, a traditional class-based syntax or functional style, which you see here. Essentially, the functional syntax is just a different way to write everything that you normally would within LiveWire, just in a functional way rather than dealing with traditional class-based syntax. So if this looks appealing to you or maybe looks more readable or familiar, then go for it. It's using functions, again, instead of class. So this layout would be a function, this state would be a function, this rules would be a function. With the class-based syntax, you can essentially take any code that you might have in existing LiveWire components or anything that you might see on the LiveWire documentation and just place it in this LiveWire Volt component, which is a class that extends that component. And everything works just like you would expect. But the functional syntax does have a little bit of quirks that you need to know. In the class-based syntax, you would write something like a public function and then the function name that you're trying to create. But within the functional syntax, any function is just started with a dollar sign. Maybe I want to say I want to have a sign up function and that automatically becomes a function that I can write within here. And all of this is PHP code that is essentially transpiled into a traditional class-based structure on build time. The LiveWire Volt documentation is fantastic to see any of those functions that you might need if you're using the functional syntax, but you can also just dive into the code itself because the functional syntax is just wrappers around things you might otherwise use in your traditional class-based syntax. So since I am using the Laravel VS Code extension, or if you have something like PHP IntelliFence, most of the time you can jump in to the actual place that this LiveWire Volt state lives, but I can option click into that and now I'm in this vendor livewire volt functions.php. And this is where all of the functions exist within the functional syntax. So you can see placeholder, uh, action, computed properties. We have the layout title width, and we'll get to that in a little bit. JS, boot, booted, mount. All of these things are just taking what you would normally write in a livewire class based syntax, but just giving you a little bit of syntactical sugar on top of it. Next, Volt components are technically different in name than LiveWire components. So if you're going to create a new Volt component, you're not going to do PHP artisan make LiveWire. There's no way to create a Volt component like this. You can either create a Volt component by hand manually, or of course, Laravel provides an easy API to do this. So make Volt, and then we can create the name of our Volt component. So maybe my Volt component is called item tracker. And here is where I can specify if I want it to be a functional component that will scaffold out that stub for us or a class-based component. The good thing is this PHP artisan make volt command will automatically check to see if you have any existing volt components and which structure they're in. So if I already have existing class-based components in my project, then I wouldn't have to add the dash dash class parameter but by default, it's automatically going to assume the functional API if you didn't have any existing Volt components in your project. And just like creating components is different, using full page components in your routes is going to be different as well. Before, if you were using a route, you could pass in the actual LiveWire class, but we don't have a class technically, it's in a blade file. We're just going to use the Volt parameter. So that's gonna be use LiveWire Volt slash Volt, and then I can pass in the specific route. So if I want to say this goes to item tracker, then I can pass in the item tracker volt component. This is telling LiveWire Volt that in my LiveWire 
directory, I have this item tracker page, this item tracker volt component.blade.php. And again, this is the only file. Well, that item tracker route is going to automatically be sent to that file. Now, before we take a look at the very last thing that you need to know about Livewire Volt, I will say that this is just a very quick crash course. We do have another video talking more in depth about what Livewire Volt is, especially if you are new to Livewire that you can find up here. The very last thing you need to know before getting started with Livewire Volt is that there are some small naming differences when using even the class-based structure within Livewire Volt. Now, if you prefer and you're using the functional style syntax, then the Volt documentation on livewire.laravel.com is going to be your best friend. And it's just one page. It has everything that you need to know about what those specific names are for your specific functions if you didn't want to have to look in that functions file. Now, just like I mentioned before, if you're using the class-based syntax, you could look through any of the documentation in Livewire and for the most part, just copy and paste it over into your Volt component and it would work just like you expect. For example, this right here, I could copy and paste everything here, right? Not exactly. Whether you're using the functional style syntax or class-based syntax, the biggest naming difference is going to be this little public function render right here. Volt components don't have this. Instead, you're going to use public function with if you're using the class-based syntax or you're going to use a with function which accepts a function as a callback. In this case, I'm passing this post parameter to my view layer, this little bit down here, and I'm going to say that that is going to be the post model and we'll bring that in and then we'll paginate this. So instead of using the render method, you would think, okay, maybe I could just put render function here. No, you're going to use with or in your class-based structure, you're going to use public function with, which also returns a specific object to say, hey, uh, we're going to say post and we'll go ahead and paginate those here. So since this with function, whether you're using the functional style syntax or class-based syntax, is essentially the same as a render function, just a different name, you can pass these parameters into your view file. So I can go ahead and now loop through posts to say, okay, for each post as posts, and then loop through them like I would expect in a normal or traditional live wire structure. Here's a bonus one before you go. This one's technically just for class-based structure within Volt since the functional syntax automatically has a function for that. Because the class-based syntax is a anonymous component, where are you going to put an attribute for things like a layout? So since it is an anonymous component, the attribute needs to be after the new keyword. Just like you might see in the LiveWire documentation, an attribute above a named class that would instead, like this particular layout attribute, and go after the new keyword. Overall, Livewire Vault, especially with the class-based syntax, is not that much different from what you might find within a traditional Livewire approach. And it seems like more and more people are starting to come around to it, like Caleb Porzio, the creator of Livewire. But regardless of if you like the functional style syntax or class-based style syntax within Vault, or whether you don't care for Livewire Vault at all and you'd rather have your server file and your view file and logic separate, the great thing about Laravel and Livewire is it gives you options so that you can build things, so that you can ship things the way you want to.